I know it is hard, but we all need each other. I will play my part as a nurse. So help me God, please play your part. Following the recent events that has literally turned our world upside down, I have found myself welling up in tears. Sometimes I kind of feel, I can't explain, but there are stories everywhere that make you so nervous that shedding tears seems to be the most appropriate thing to do. Hearing the sad stories of my colleagues who have become infected by the deadly virus or the anxieties at workplace working as a nurse, the concerns we express, you see it written even when they are not said, they are written all over our faces. Going to work seems to be very stressful now because you're not sure if you're going to be the next one to contact it or you're going to be the next one to pass it on to your loved ones. The voices, the sounds, the expressions all made me well up in tears. You turn on the television and you see people who have no choice but to go in there and work. Sometimes I've shed tears, other times I've managed to suppress them. If you turn on the telly, you find people in grief, sadness, the loss, the, the anxieties. It's all over the place. I've watched my colleagues face to face on the telly or even reported in the newspapers of those who break down in tears, who wail, who weep, who mourn for grief, for sadness, for this overwhelming situation that we and the world have found ourselves in. Hmm. And I wonder, is it wrong to cry? My wonder took me into the quest to find out exactly why we cry. Growing up, I've heard many people and I've actually also said it to others, please don't cry or stop crying. Why are you crying? I've asked people those, those questions, but I've also cried myself and I've heard people ask me why I'm crying. I've cried in secret, I've cried in open, I've cried silently, and I've wailed. Hmm. But my research has made me understand that crying is unique to human beings, and it's absolutely okay to cry. The Urban Dictionary Online tells me that crying is not a sign of weakness, not at all. Rather, it's an expression of sadness, an expression of extreme grief, an expression of excruciating pain. As every human being have cried at one time or the other. If you haven't, I'm sure you did cry at birth. It would have been concerning if you didn't. And efforts would have made by the medical personnel, the midwife or the doctor to ensure you cried. So yeah, we've cried. People of all ages cry. And it's okay to cry. A doctor said, just like the cloud, when it gathers and is too heavy, lets out little water in form of rain. So does our hearts, when it is heavy with grief, cries. And what are the benefits of crying? Human beings respond to sadness, to grief, to frustration, to pain, or even to joy by shedding tears. That's why I know everyone has cried at one point or the other. It is unique. It's a way of we express our emotion. So it would be correct to say human beings are criers if there's a word like that. Yeah. Crying has benefits, yes. It is shocking to know that crying 
has benefits, particularly emotional crying. It has physiological benefits, it has social benefits, and it has psychological benefits. Physiologically, by crying, we shed tears, and these tears help to moisten our eyes, serves as a lubricant, and gets rid of bacteria. And psychologically, crying serves as a suitor. Yeah, a suitor. It brings calm to us because it helps us express and relieve our sorrow, our pain, our grief, our sadness, and our frustration. Hmm. No wonder God structured us to shed tears when our hearts are heavy, just as the cloud will rain when it is heavy. Wow, it lightens our body, our sorrow, our pain. It's even relaxing. Do you notice that after crying, you appear a bit more sleepy or you tend to sleep off? So it means crying makes us feel better. It brings a fresh perspective to our grief, to our loss, to our frustrations, to our helplessness. Wow. Socially speaking, crying does attract help towards us. It facilitates help from those around us. You notice when we cry in public or before people, we tend to see that sense of empathy around and you find those arms coming around to suit you, to pacify you. Yeah tears attract help to us. People come towards us when they see us cry to find out why, how, what they can do to make us feel better. And I have done it many times. I'm sure you have too. So crying is beneficial to us and it's okay to cry even in this time of uncertainty. Yes, but like the good Bible said, since weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So as we cry, I reassure myself that the future is bright and there is hope for tomorrow. As much as crying is beneficial, it's also important to note that too much of it or doing it too often can be detrimental to our health. Yes. And if you find yourself crying for no reason, uncontrollably for too long or too frequently, it might actually be a sign that there is something more in depth. It might be a sign of depression. Please seek help. Nevertheless, it's okay to cry. And I will say it again, just as Fayomi said in his newspaper report, let your tears flow and where they go, let your sorrow go. Let your tears flow and where they go, let your sorrow go. So please, just as I have my part to play as a nurse, you have your part to play. Please follow the guidelines. It is serious business. The virus is real. It is not just like common cold. It is real. It is not just like flu. It is real. Only go out when you require essentials like food or for health reasons or going to work if you're a key worker and you cannot work from home. This is real. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands when you return. When you are outside, please maintain social distancing. Yes, stay at least two meters away from the other person. I know it is hard to keep away from family and friends, but this is necessary that we may all beat this threat to human race. Let's keep ourselves and our loved ones safe 
by maintaining social distance. That means no party, no birthday celebrations as a bigger family, except those people that you are living in the same house with, under the same roof. Yes. Please abide by the guidelines. And if you are showing symptoms, as I've listed here, remember to isolate yourself. Not just from the public, but also from your loved ones. Yes, not everybody dies from the virus. Yes, 80% of people survive. But then you never know who will die from it. I know it is hard, but we all need each other. I will play my part as a nurse. So help me God. Please play your part. I know we will beat this. Our light will come. Weeping may endure for the night, but definitely joy will come in the morning. Till next time, from me, it's bye bye.